are two substage. These are symbolic substage and intuitive substage. For symbolic substage, as you can see, a preschooler girl saw a shoe and she used it as a pawn. Through her dramatic play, she was able to put a representation to the shoe. She symbolizes the shoe as a pawn because of its shape. And that's how symbolic substage works. For intuitive substage, why are these marbles around? Why does the gum look like this? A girl asks why the marble is round. Why does the gum look like this? From the given question of a girl, we can notice that the girl's curiosity is working. Where she is curious, why do the things look like the way they are? And that's how intuitive substage works. Language development. Language development is the process by which children come to understand and communicate language during early childhood. There are four main areas of language development. First, phonology. Second, semantics. Third, syntax. And fourth, pragmatics. Then, phonology is the study of structure in language, which is different from the study of sentence structure syntax or word structure, morphology, or how language changes over time, historical linguistics. These are the example of phonology. The example of semantic is when a child hears a word for the first time. He tries to understand the meaning using past experience, intellect, memory, or etc. The last one is pragmatics. Pragmatics are the conversation or social use of language. The way in which children use language within social interactions. Vygotsky believed that young children use language both to communicate socially, to plan, guide, and monitor their behavior in a self-regulatory fashion, inner speech, or private speech. We got reintroduced the term of zone of proximal development refers to a task too difficult for a child to matter alone but can be mastered with a guidance of adults or more skilled children. One of the cognitive development of preschooler is about the information processing theory, attention, and memory. In this video, I got two preschoolers and I told them to write anything that they know about God and fairy. As I gave them an instruction, I noticed that the preschoolers already know how to understand different kinds of instruction. And as I noticed what on the things that they do, they do it correctly. In short, they can process the information by their own and they have a good attention span. Information processing model is another way of examining and understanding how children develop cognitively. It conceptualizes children's mental process through the metaphor of a computer processing, encoding, storing, and decoding data. So we have the young children's theory of mind. Okay, students, if I'm going to ask you, where do you believe? God or fairy? I don't know God. How about you? God, God. Hey, so why do you say so? Or why do you say God? Because of fairy, di ba? Mga fairy, napapanood niyo. Di ba? Sigat hindi niyo naman. So why do you believe in God? Because of God. Ito ako. Ito ako. Yung fairy, di ba? Ito ako. So, that activity, we can say that the priest have the knowledge or the information or can identify which is the reality or the fantasy. As the meaning, theory of mind refers to the individual's thoughts how about mental process. It includes awareness of the own thought, process, social cognition, understanding that people can hold false beliefs, ability to deceive, to distinguish appearance from real reality, and ability to distinguish fantasy from 
This is the example of high-ordered mental abilities in concept formation. As you can see, the child develops basic concepts such as identifying the time and uses this as the basis for understanding how materials are categorized in her environment. Mama, diba? 6.05 In high-ordered mental abilities in cause and effect relationship, the child is able to recall people he has met, events, and places he has been to. Ma, gusto ko po pumunta. Ano lang na neto para magbantay doon tapos may tambo-tambo ko doon tapos kain ka, kain ka, kain tayo para masaya tayo. In addition, the child is also able to understand the cause and effect relationship. In this video, you will see that the child is able to store verbal information in short and long-term memory, which is called memory for concept-based knowledge, semantic memory. According to the video, the child is shown planning and organizing with the toys he or she has spread your use. This is a good trait that she possesses when she is at the age of 5 because at this age, he had to learn things like cleaning up the clutter or toys he has used. In this next video shows creative thoughts the child wrote things she had in mind or things she can do at the age of 5 years old to better hone her mind in creating things from her mind to create of something she never imagined. She could draw shapes such as circle, rectangle, square, star, and heart. She could also create a cat and a kite using the combined shape from her mind.